Uh, parasomnias are common childhood sleep disorders. Uh, there are several different types of parasomnias uh, that are developmental in nature. The most common one that we see in young children are sleep terrors or night terrors. Sleep terrors or night terrors are abrupt, spontaneous, or triggered uh, arousals from deep sleep in the early part of the evening or night after the child is put to sleep. The child looks panicked, scared to death, they're sweating, their pupils are dilated, uh, they appear to be awake because their eyes are open, but they're actually still in some place in between deep sleep and trying to wake up. Uh, all parents can do is console them, protect them from harm. Uh, we, we recommend they do, they do not stimulate their child because it may prolong the night terrors. Uh, the, the second most common uh, problem that we see in the parasomnia category is sleepwalking and actually more common in older kids and may last longer for their life. It, it is usually developmental, but if it persists beyond a certain age, uh, we're, we become concerned about post-traumatic stress disorder. Same is true of, of sleep terrors as well. Uh, sleepwalking can be dangerous or benign. The dangerous type of sleepwalking I'm referring to is where a child may fall down the stairs during sleep because they actually are asleep and walking, not awake, not aware of what's going on and they don't remember what, or they may run out the door, run out into the street, or even go to the refrigerator and eat in the middle of the night and not remember.